So I started out as an engineer, moved on to uh, becoming a software engineer with Infosys, was spending a couple of years there. Subsequent to that, then uh, I did my graduate uh, program in Carnegie Mellon. That's where I was exposed to uh, economics and management related issues in the public policy school. Uh, eventually, I ended up being a faculty member at Purdue uh, after my PhD. I've been at Purdue for the last 15 years. Uh, it's been a great experience with uh, the opportunity to interact with some of the best minds uh, in the world. And we've looked at problems uh, where there are uh, behavioral economics issues involved, mathematically uh, sophisticated problems as well. Uh, we've made these uh, problems real with company engagements and others also. So, this has been a fun experience overall for me. In India, things have uh, significantly changed and the culture has significantly evolved um, over a period of time. Uh, people are much more likely to take risks. I see a lot of um, entrepreneurship and investments in entrepreneurship that are peaking up. Um, so this is a very interesting landscape with uh, our previous investments that uh, companies like Infosys and Wipro and others have made, the technology uh, development has progressed significantly. Uh, this means that India is at a cusp where we can determine the future landscape and create huge interesting opportunities for the Indian market and also overall for the global market. The problems we are looking at and the, and the ability with the technology is that it can scale very, very well and taking advantage of that, we should be able to do much better uh, overall in the longer term uh, than what we have been so far as well. So when you look at um, companies that are engaging in and doing very well, many of them have been able to identify the customer needs and define them, uh, define their business models around the customer needs. Let me take, tell you about an example with related to Zara. Zara is, as I mentioned, was, is a company which is very well known for its fast fashion, as they call it as. They try to produce products very, very quickly, but what's fundamental to the implementation of Zara is the human or the women's need to buy a different kind of clothes, um, I, or at least uh, buy clothes immediately if they, if they like it. If that product was not available, they will not be able to procure that. That creates the nudge. And that's an important part of how they've designed their overall ecosystem. If that nudge was relevant and it, it, it can be taken advantage of, and the whole business model is worked around that nudge aspect of it. That's a big part of Zara as an example. And similarly, companies like Microsoft and others use techniques such as gamification to change people's behavior. These are some of the examples, I would say, of, uh, ex uh, of design for instincts in real life implementations. The AI and machine learning and artificial intelligence are definitely important domains that we should be thinking about and that's where opportunities lie. There are a couple of things that I think the future of India is also uh, really needing to have. One is uh, robotics and actually those that have the physical component to the technology as well. Uh, because when we look at the future and when we look at manufacturing and others, having some bit of um, manufacturing related, technology related manufacturing experience goes a long way. From the Great Lakes perspective, it's about how do you create the next generation of engineers who are not just software based, not just app based, can we create new entrepreneurships associated with that. Those I see are fantastic opportunities for us to move into. That's point number one. The second aspect where I think is again, uh, there are lots of opportunities is at the human element, which is relating to the design for instincts, as I mentioned here as well, how do we make sure that our students are capable of understanding the human needs, whether it involves uh, presentations or whether it involves even um, design for uh, companies and others also. The culture is, is a big part of it, and as you mentioned, uh, we can think about culture from various different regards. It's the exposure, it's the um, how the learning happens there, what's the ecosystem there, what's the business model there. When, when companies or when students go to these international locations, it's not just about the culture, it's about the fun work functions, how are they set up and all of that. Another important aspect I would encourage the Great Lakers to worry about is um, communication. 
Uh, we, even if uh, somebody is very sophisticated with the analytics and their training, it's important for them to understand the role of communication and how to convince people and how to sell their ideas to those. And that's another aspect that I would strongly encourage the Great Lakers to pursue as, uh, as they're going for international um, experiences. The biggest thing about the leadership in the digital economy relates to understanding how the information flows and how it interfaces with the humans. Now, when you look at this from a slightly abstract standpoint, you can create various degrees of freedom and you can create various outcomes that we have not seen before. Newer businesses uh, can be generated and if you look back at what has happened in the past six, seven years, even before that, we didn't have companies like Uber to even exist. They have come fundamentally transformed the businesses. You look at uh, that has changed the transportation landscape in many big cities, even in India. And it's about understanding those needs and trying to de develop newer business models. And Great Lakes, Great Lakers as uh, prospective students will have the opportunity to do them by understanding analytics and also understanding the human aspect. It's been a very fun experience. I had a lot of fun interacting with people. I think uh, the questions were really good and I thought that uh, students were very engaged and it was a pleasurable experience.